swallow your pride. There's nowhere to hide. When I was younger, my dad introduced me to the game of basketball. Eventually, I decided basketball was something that I wanted to start taking more seriously. Started playing organized basketball probably fifth grade. I started going to this place called Silver Spring Neighborhood Center. I started going there every day, working on my skills. And in high school is really where basketball really changed for me a lot. I got my first offer from University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, my freshman year. Things started to get a little different for me. I was one of the last kids invited to the NBA Top 100 camp. I ended up getting like 10 to 15 offers leaving there. It started to change my whole perspective on college and what my future is gonna be. And it's like, man, I'm really gonna have a chance to play Division I basketball. I was having a great season my senior year. We were predicted to go up to state. I was the top point guard in my class. We actually go play a game in Champaign, Illinois. After I committed to Illinois, I had like 20 points and like eight assists or something already. It started a fourth quarter and I go up for a layup and a guy just pushes me out the air. You know, everything changes after that. I actually heard my ankle crack. I was done for the rest of my high school career. And you know, that was a, a huge turning point for me. I just sat down with my parents, just wanted to find what's the bigger picture. And that was me just growing from it, learning from it, becoming a better person. I think it's another reason I work harder. Nothing has ever been given to me. You know, breaking my ankle was just another stepping stone in my way and that I wanted to overcome. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you gotta find what's really your purpose. I just feel like my purpose in life is just to show people that you can really make it no matter the path. If you just keep working hard and find your goal and what you really want to do. During basketball, you face so much adversity, so much change, and there's so much frustration. One team might go on an 8-0, 10-0 run. How are you going to respond to it? I think a lot of those things actually translate in life. You know, you're going to go through a lot of bumps and bruises in life, but you know, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to just sit down and just let it happen, or are you going to get better and try to do whatever you can to have the greater outcome? My name's Tijan Lucas. I'm blessed to find my purpose through basketball. Have you found yours?